We propose a new technique for computing dense white baseline scene flow from two handheld video cameras. The input to our method are two videos that are captured by two independently moving cameras with potentially different camera and sensor characteristics, such as exposure or white balance. Our scene flow method computes dense geometry for dynamic scenes from handheld videos. We also compute scene flow the motion of 3D points over time, which we visualize as yellow lines. Here we show a snapshot of our estimated dense scene flow and 3D geometry. Here is an overview of our method. We start from two handheld videos such as these and calibrate them extrinsically. Note that the videos have consistent appearance in this dataset, but we also support different appearance as we will show later. We then compute dense stereo flows between the cameras and optical flows over time using a novel white baseline matching technique based on daisy and patch match belief propagation. Next, we compute occlusion masks from the stereo flows using the forward backward consistency check to discard incorrect correspondences. The result is a reliable stereo flow with many occlusion holes that need to be filled. We fill the invalidated regions using a novel technique that uses edge preserving Laplace and hole filling. The resulting stereo flow and the optical flow computed earlier are then used as initialization for a variational scene flow formulation that refines stereo and optical flows and produces our final correspondences. Here we show the dynamic point clouds triangulated from our stereo flows. And here we overlay a subset of all scene flow vectors, which are pointing forward in time. In general situations, multiple videos captured with different cameras rarely have consistent appearance, as in the previous dataset. Instead, they tend to vary in exposure, white balance, and other camera and sensor characteristics, such as in this dataset. In our approach, we therefore estimate a global affine color transform from corresponding pixels, which corrects the inconsistent appearance. This color correction results in improved flow estimates and a better scene flow result from the challenging input videos. Here's again the triangulated point cloud we compute from the two handheld input videos. In this snapshot, the scene flow visualization nicely corresponds with the downward head motion of the deer. Here we show another sequence with two handheld videos as well as their computed flows, depth maps and occlusion masks. The triangulated point clouds reconstruct the scene well, including parts of the difficult vertical wall that the bear is leaning on. The scene flow vectors clearly correspond to the motion of the bear, which is better visible in a close-up. Note the high quality of the scene reconstruction, in particular for the face of the bear, where its ears, nose and teeth are visible. This is another handheld dataset with strongly different visual appearances. We use Visual SFM for calibrating the input videos extrinsically, but we do not use the reconstructed 3D points. This is the reconstructed geometry from the two handheld videos. One can clearly see the effect of the moving camera viewpoints. The scene flow vectors again faithfully follow the motion of the animal. This dataset by Mustafa and colleagues uses one static and one moving camera. Our reconstruction captures the geometric details of the background as well as the motion in the foreground. Here we toggle between two frames to show the accuracy of our estimated scene flow. The yellow lines point towards the new positions of 3D scene points in the next time step. Here we show a dataset captured with a moving stereo camera rig. On the left, we show our scene reconstruction using only our daisy patch match belief propagation approach. And on the right, we show the result of our variational refinement. Note the improved geometry reconstruction, particularly in the background. Here is our reconstruction with scene flow vectors.
And here is a close-up on a single frame, with the upwards motion of the leg clearly captured. Thanks for watching.